and we will not hesitate to deal with acts of defiance, indiscretion, or transgression on the part of any resident electoral commissioner. Indeed, we will hold you accountable for your actions and inactions. Manage your personnel as well as the extremely limited resources at your disposal very well. There can be no excuses for failing to hit the ground running and for making a huge difference to the quality and transparency of elections. I urge you not to engage in a puerile debate that adds no value to your work. At the same time, you must not be impervious to genuine criticisms. You must maintain the Commission's tradition of regular consultations with critical stakeholders. These are the political parties, civil society organizations, the media, traditional institutions, religious bodies, and the security agencies. You must always be very firm in ensuring fairness and transparency to all. Let me make it clear to you from the outset that you must at all times be guided by the electoral legal framework, the code of conduct for resident electoral commissioners, and your good conscience. You must also work closely with your field officers in the state, listening to their wise counsel, but always providing supervision. Similarly, I must warn you to understand and operate within the limits of your delegated powers and responsibilities. Our state offices are part and parcel of the commission. Among the nine resident electoral commissioners sworn in today, four have been career officers of the commission, rising to the rank of director. They have been involved in elections and electoral activities both in the field and at the headquarters. Their experiences traversed electoral operations, election and party monitoring, and electoral litigation. Abu Bakar Dambo, Sir Kim Power, KB State.